Welcome to Hima Tutorials. In today's video, I am going to discuss about economy, architecture and society during Kutub Shahi's period. Now discuss about economy during Kutub Shahi period. Okay? During Kutub Shahi's period, the entire land was divided into two types. Jamindari and the second one is Haveli. Okay? And this Jamindari lands was under the control of traditional Jamindaris. Okay? These lands are under the control of traditional Jamindaris. Whereas the Haveli lands are under the control of King. Okay? Coming to the next point, the agricultural season starts from June to October. Okay? And the main crops are food grains, fruits, while the cash crops are sugarcane and cotton. Okay? The main crops are food grains, fruits, whereas the cash crops are sugarcane and cotton. And mainly in the region of Eluru, we can see the opium cultivation. Okay? Mainly in this region, we see opium cultivation. Okay? Coming to the next point. The foreign trade and local trade. Okay? The foreign trade as well as the local trade was carried by Vaishyas. Okay? It was carried by Vaishyas. And the major port cities during this Kutub Shahi period are Motupalli, Machli Patnam, and Narsapuram. Okay? The foreign trade and local trade was carried by Vaishyas, and the major port cities during this period are Motupalli, Machli Patnam, and Narsapuram. Okay? I hope it is clear. Please make a note of it. Coming to the next point. The official currency was Mohar. Okay? The official currency was Mohar. And during this period, the gold coins were referred to as Honnu, okay? Whereas, the silver coins were referred to as Pana, okay? Now, we will see some of the imports and exports during this period, okay? Coming to imports, horses, perfumes, and gold okay horses perfumes and gold are the imports during this period okay now coming to exports okay diamond carpets swords and textiles okay diamond carpets swords and textiles are the Exports during this period. And there are two types of textiles. Okay. One is printed textile. And the other one is colored textile. Okay. One is printed textile and the other is colored textile. And the region Koluru and Ramalakota, these two regions, Koluru and Ramalakota, are famous for 
diamonds okay whereas the varangal region are famous for carpets okay kolluru and ramalakota are famous for diamonds and whereas the varangal region is famous for carpets during the kutub shahi period i hope it is clear make a note of it now discuss about architecture during this kutub shahi period in the year 1591 the hyderabad city was constructed by mohammad quli kutub shah okay and the architect of this hyderabad city was मीर मोमिन अस्त्रा आदि ओके द आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ दिस हैदराबाद सिटी वाज मीर मोमिन अस्त्रा आदि एंड दिस हैदराबाद सिटी वाज कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ए सिटी इन ईरान ओके इट वाज कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सिटी इन ईरान व्हिच इज इशफाहान okay and in the similar way the charminar the charminar was based on the construction maidan e naksha jahan okay the charminar was based on the construction maidan e naksha jahan which is also located in iran okay coming to the next point dar ul shafa okay it was a hospital which was constructed in the year 1595 okay and the important doctor in this hospital was peter dilan peter dilan was the important doctor in this hospital okay and he was from dutch okay and the golconda fort was completed by ibrahim quli kutub shah golconda fort was completed by ibrahim quli kutub shah coming to the next point purana pool bridge okay the purana pool bridge was constructed in the year 1578 okay and this was the first bridge constructed on the river musi and the traveler travernir okay travernir called this bridge as bridge of love okay and coming to the next point makka masjid okay the makka masjid was constructed in the year 1614 by the 6th golconda ruler sultan mohammad quli kutub shah sultan mohammad quli kutub shah okay and this was completed in the year 1693 by the famous mogul emperor aurangzeb okay and this is about the architecture during kutub shahi period please make a note of it now discuss about society during this kutub shahi period the kutub shahi period was considered as the golden period for hindu muslim unity okay golden period for hindu and muslim unity 
okay and during this period we can see the mixture of north india and south india okay and there was a popular phase which was referred to as ganga jamuna tehzeeb okay this period was considered as the golden period for hindu and muslim unity and during the qutub shahi period there are various social events like sati corruption child marriages okay and even prostitution is also high during this kutubshahi period okay there are many social events like sati corruption child marriages and even also during this period the prostitution is also high to the next point the important festivals during kutubshahi period are dasara diwali holi ramzan muharram bakri etc okay and during this kutubshahi period women were given low status okay and even there are parda system and devadasi system during kutub shahi period okay that is about society during kutub shahi period okay please make a note of it with this we completed kutub shahi dynasty if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel hima tutorials Thank you.